Hello everybody. Again I am going to tell you about determinants. Okay. So, but this time I am going to give you very complicated uh, problems but very easy. It will seem, it will look like very complicated but the problem is very very easy. So, let us see here. In this question there are no, there is no restriction upon ABC. Okay. And in the option also there is no restriction upon ABC. So, you can choose suitably for ABC. So, I am taking A is equal to B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 1 I am taking. Clear? A, B equal to 0 and C is equal to 1. Because if you take A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to 0, the right hand should become 0. You cannot find out the value of K. So, it will be 2, 0, 0. C is equal to 1. This one is 1. This one is 1. This one is 0, this one is 0, this one is 1. Clear? So here, this is a triangular matrix. Lower triangular matrix. And the determinant of a lower triangular matrix is the product of a diagonal elements. So 2 into 1 into 1. So it is 2. So answer will be 2. So this one. Clear? So in a determinant, see here, the determinant of a lower triangular matrix or an upper triangular matrix is equal to the product of the diagonal elements. Okay. So let us see this example. Same process I am going to tell you. Suitably I have to put something. So I am putting A is equal to B is equal to 0 against C is equal to 1. Same process. So it will be minus 1. 0, 0. So this 2 will be b is equal to 0, so this one is 0 and this will be 2 and this one is uh, 0, this one is 0 minus 1 and this one is 0 and this is uh, 2c that means 2 and this is 1, clear and this is an upper or lower triangular matrix. So the answer will be product of the diagonal elements, clear, so minus 1 into minus 1 into 1, so it will become 1. So, answer is 1. Clear. So, this one is the answer. Okay. Because, see here, why I am telling you 1? Because the right hand side is A plus B plus C whole cube. So, put A is equal to B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 1. So, A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0. So, C is equal to 1. 1 cube is 1. So, right hand side become K. So, left hand side become 1. So, K is equal to 1. Clear. See the third question. Here, I cannot put b is equal to 0. If I put b is equal to 0, then this right hand side will become 0. So, we cannot find out the value of k. So, b should be non 0. And if a is equal to 0, then the right hand side temper will become 0. So, I am putting a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1, I am taking. Okay. So, what about the left hand side? See here, this is 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1. This is 2, 2, 2, the question is, okay, the question is this one, and this is 0. So, see here, 1 into, minus 1 into, this one is 0, minus 1 into, 0 minus 2. So, plus 2, 4 minus 0, it is 4. Clear. So, there is 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Okay. So, the left hand side becomes 10. And what is the right hand side? See here, right hand side A is equal to 0. That means B, B is equal to 1. So, simply K. So, K is equal to, no, I have done something mistake. A plus 2B, A plus 2B, A plus 2B. Mm. Somewhere I have done, I have written the question mistake.
sorry, I have written uh, this question mistake. By mistake, I have written two. This will be a plus b. I have seen the book. It is uh, written a plus b. That means this will become one. B is equal to one. So what will be the result? Let us see. It will be one minus one two into zero, then minus one, then two. Two, two to the four minus one. It is will four. So it will be one plus two for the eight. Eight plus one nine. So this is the answer. So K will be equal to nine. Because on the right hand side, see here, right hand side B is equal to one and A is equal to zero. So this will be one and one square is one. So simply K. So K is equal to nine. Okay. See this question. In the question, there is no restriction upon A. And in the option also there is no a. That means a can take any value. So simply I am taking a is equal to zero. Put a is equal to zero. So that the last one 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 one. This will be two three four. Clear. And this will be two one zero two. Three two zero six. Four three zero twelve. Okay. So I am applying the property in one single line. I am applying the property. So this minus this. Twelve minus six is six. Four minus three one one minus one zero six minus two four three minus two one one minus one zero so two two one okay so these two elements are zero so simply solve for one so it will be one into four minus six four minus six it will be minus two so answer will be minus two so this one is the option clear so the fifth one same trick. There is no restriction upon A B C, and in the option also there is no A B C. So you can take A is equal to B is equal to C. I am taking A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to one. Okay. So one one two two one 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 two one. The left hand side. So one into directly I am summing one minus two is minus one. So minus one into two minus one it is one. Then plus two into four minus one it is three. So It will become minus one minus one plus three to the six. So answer is four. So this one is the option. So k is equal to four. See here one thing. Um, why I am writing k is equal to? Because the right hand side you can put a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to one. So one into one into one. So simply k. The right hand side becomes k, and the left hand side I am solving four. So k is equal to four. So that is why I have written k is equal to four. Okay. Today I have given five questions. Okay. So write down these questions and remember the trick and apply in the exam. Okay. So please wait for my next video. Okay. Thank you.